how the Paul Butterfield Blues Band really affected our special guest this week, Robbie Dupree, famous for Hot Rod Hearts and Steal Away. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. There are artists that when you listen to them, they change the trajectory of where you're going in your life. And I know you have felt that. There's not a person who's listening to this video or watching this video who hasn't felt a moment in time where you stare at the speakers and you know for whatever reason, maybe not consciously at the time, but you know it's going to change things. Instead of going this way, you're going that way. And when you're headed down that different road, there are a lot of other artists that are opened up to you because of that one artist you listen to. The Paul Butterfield Blues Band was that for Robbie Dupree. First, he talks about the early artists that he listened to, which led him to Paul Butterfield. When you left home, what was in your record collection? What would you have had? What kind of music were you listening to? It was very all over the place. I hadn't really defined a musical taste at that time. I was very inspired by Motown. That was all great stuff. I had a Latin collection of Latin music, like salsa music and mm -hmm. Artists like Tito Puente and Joe Cuba, Mango Santa Maria. I, I loved the Latin groove, and I thought that was another cool thing. And I still had some holdover music that I dug from when I first started buying records. I bought all those Buddy Holly and Elvis records and Fat Domino, you know, so it was very eclectic. And it didn't start to um, form into an idea that I really dug until I saw the Paul Butterfield Blues Band play back in... I don't know, was it 65 or 66? And that connected with me as something that I was inspired by personally. There's a difference. You know, when you're a musician, you can talk about inspirations, but then you can talk also about catalysts for like you being able to do it. I never saw myself as a Beatle or a Rolling Stone or, you know, any of the flamboyant psychedelic music that was out. I just, I didn't connect. But when I saw the Butterfield Blues Band, I saw a connection. I, I related... They weren't dressed up. They weren't wearing, you know, psychedelic clothes. They were just, they look like me and I look like them. And I felt like that was a very important threshold for me. You know, I, I was, by the way, I was already playing harmonica professionally and playing in bands. That was really my first instrument. And so when I saw Butterfield, he became a mentor. And then moving to Woodstock later on, he lived here. And so I actually became friends with him and got to know him for quite a few years. And I would say that he was really, out of all of the influences that you might talk about and the people that you love their music, but he was really the one that really I emulated the most. And having, and having a chance to actually, you know, get to know him, that's a whole other level, right? It sure is. I mean, it was very different. And um, he was the real thing. He was a genuine article. He was a Chicago guy who um, played with Muddy Waters and all kinds of great, iconic blues artist and he was a great band leader and he put together very sophisticated bands most people think about blues as a very um i, I don't even know how to, i don't want to say boring but repetitive kind of a thing with what they call the one four five musical progression but butterfield came at it with a very different idea and his horn section was the best it featured like David Sanborn and Trevor Lawrence and people who later on went on to become famous in their own respect. Mm -hmm. Steve Medeo, they were amazing. And that was something that appealed to me that he took blues to another step. He started out playing, I got my mojo working and all of that stuff. He ran it up to a whole other level. And I like to think that um, that's what I wanted to do. Same thing. Of course, I didn't stay with blues, but I think still today, that's still the, the kind of inspiration that I have today to always keep it real and raise it up a little bit higher each time. We'll have more from Robbie Dupree coming up next week. We have two more segments. Make sure you comment on our video, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Mm -hmm.